Good morning, everybody. I'm working on my TDI swap into my second gen 4Runner here. And I have got my TDI ALH bolted up against my 3.0 tranny in my 92 4Runner here. So I got my angle figured out because this Norwest TDI kit, T Norwest TD conversions, um, two different names, same kit now. And I get to my starter here and the starter comes with a couple different ways to mount it. It's on a little, it's, it's in a, it's bored into a hole that you can adjust the, the angle of it really infinitely here. The only problem is there's only a few holes that are tapped to put this starter at the angle you want it at. So I go to put my starter in and I can't get it at the angle I want it to be at for my downpipe from my turbo to clear it. So I've got TD Conversions engine plate here and that bolts onto the engine really nice. It has this little cutout for your starter. The starter only seems to be able to go in really one way with this big solenoid pointing up. If I could point it down, it would tuck in really deep, but it hits the torsion bar here. So the only way I can mount it is up tucked in with this solenoid tucked in really tight to the engine. But the problem with that is the holes don't line up. So I can't run a straight TDI starter from a 2000 Golf because this hole is bored for this starter. I can't run a 3.0 starter from this Toyota because it just it doesn't fit. The throw's different. Everything's different. So I'm pretty sure this is just a Chevy 350 high performance starter. I wonder if I can find one with a solenoid on a different side or I guess I could just drill a hole in this. But even the way that this is set up, if I rotate this out to match a hole, it will only line up with this one hole here. I can't get two holes in this ear. So this starter is made to mount with this pointing down. So I'm just trying to figure out how did y'all remedy that? Did you get a different starter? Did you just kind of make do with one hole here? Or am I missing the whole point? Help me out guys.